Hi, welcome to my video. This is my first video on YouTube. My name is Shadman. I am also known as Shadzi on, on social media. I'm a photographer from London and I've been doing photography for, it's been 80 years. So today I thought, why not start doing video and show the behind the scenes of what I do in London, especially when it comes to doing photography and show my tips and tricks and whatnot, what I do behind the scenes of uh, doing my photography. I mostly post photos on Instagram so I've decided I will start from now on posting on YouTube too because I need a challenge. I thought I will give myself a ch you know, new challenge of um, the, the video side of the, the, the world I guess. So uh, yeah in this video you'll be expecting some of the questions and answers um, you know I have to answer to you guys like you'll find out about me in this video. Also I have some questions from Instagram I asked on Instagram stories that if any of my followers have any questions related to me, photography or anything they want to know. So I have on my phone um, some of the questions I'll be answering. So yeah, let's get started. So first question I have is for myself obviously, so it's much easier for you to get to know me. So the first question is, why did you start photography? The main reason I started photography is to show people the way I see things. Um, you can see the same um, subjects many, many different ways and I wanted mainly to show people that look you can actually see this from this angle, that angle, you know, different ways. That's why I started. Um, one of the main reasons I started doing London photography is because there's a lot of people I know that they've been telling me in the past, like before I started posting on Instagram, people said, oh London is so <laughs> so grey, it's always rainy, there's not much to see, there's only like Tower Bridge and Elizabeth Tower, Big Ben and uh, London Eye, that's it. That's all you get to see, like three or four landmarks, that's it. And I said to the people that, no, I'm going to show you, you know, the, the best side of London. I'm going to prove you wrong. This is why I started doing London photography. Um, I love London. I love London City. Um, and I just want people to see, um, not just the cloudy days, I just want people to see those, for example, cherry blossoms. Um, the autumn time you see the colour change, the winter time you see the, the snow um, in London. There's so much to see in London. Um, every time I go out in London, there's always something to see. There's always something to, you know, I find, you know, that I haven't come across before. Um, I've been doing London photography, it's been uh, around about four years. I think I started first photos in, back in um, 2016 when I started, uh, you know, seriously taking photos of London. And I still find the same place when I go to the visit, the same place. Um, I always find something new there. So that's something about photography that interested me. And I wanted to show people that, look, you can go to the same place, but see it differently. So yeah, that's the main reason I started photography. My photography journey started way when I was little. My, my main inspiration was my dad. I always used to see him running around because he was a cinema uh, cinematographer. So he used to do the videos, like one of those big cameras. He used to put it on his shoulder and walk around with. Um, those are ha those used to be heavy, really heavy. So I got inspired from him. And that I used to always see him with camera. So I wanted to be something. I wanted to do something with the cameras as well. So um, yeah, I, I got inspired from him, especially him. And then um, slowly, slowly, I started doing photography with uh, the phone. The, another main inspiration was my cousin. Um, his name is Shams. So he introduced me to DSLR world. I bit back in the days, I all used to do is like take photos with my phone. The main phone I used to have was Sony Ericsson C902, if I can recall. And those cyber shot ones, you can just push it out and just come. <laughs> um, I used to take photos of that and. Um, Shams, my cousin, he introduced me with um, DSLR. So um, that time, when he showed me DSLR, they can take photos, really nice photos with camera as well. I was like, whoa, that, that's really nice. So he gave me tips and tricks and whatnot. Then I started doing photos with his camera first. Then I took photos of his uh, wedding with his camera, and I got really into it. That camera was 600D. So yeah, he inspired me to start doing DSLR photography, like the camera I have right now that was the next step for me so he pushed me in a way to do what i'm doing right now to start doing the cameras um, i'm recording with the camera right now i also do photos with my phone too at the same time whenever I, I can't have my camera with me so yeah that's my inspirations i would say 
that's interest that's an interesting question really I am doing YouTube now is because I feel like I am not pushing myself enough uh, with the challenges when it comes to photos and videos uh, with using my camera properly I have Sony a7 III which has got 4k camera uh, for good video recording built in I'm like I am not using it as much so I thought I was push myself a little and start doing YouTube I had YouTube since uh, 2009 I guess I have like all the kind I used to play with the Call of Duty I used to post those videos and yeah I really wanted to do YouTube for a very long time but I didn't get that much opportunity to start properly I don't know halfway through I gave up uh, when I started in uh, 2009 and then I stopped and then started again and stopped again 2012 I started posting again I think and then I stopped again so yeah it was like back and forth back and forth going so this time I'm like you know what I need to get serious I need to get some um, challenge in my life I would say and then push myself when it comes to the camera world so yeah I started doing YouTube now because of that I also want to show people that and um, the behind the scenes of what I do in London like especially when I'm going out to take photos um, near the landmarks near the, the various places beautiful places I go to natures and whatnot so I wanted to um, also capture those moments the only way I can do it now is if I do the YouTube videos like vlogging style and yeah show you the behind the scenes and there's a lot of people on my Instagram are interested in London so I thought why not just give that a go because I love London show them how London is so yeah that's that's why I would say I started doing YouTube now what I'm planning right now is to post mainly behind the scene videos like I'm um, going out in London doing a little bit of um, vlogging maybe I'll post also tips and tricks how to do the photos I also you do like one of those TikTok videos and I'm posting nowadays on Instagram reel you should check it out <laughs> um, I do those um, tips and tricks re related to photography as well so I am planning to do it I do teach photos to people I mean photography to two people um, I go around in London um, I show people how to take photos how to see things differently so I am planning to do those as well carry on with video now um, also because it's 2020 you can't really you know how the situation is unless you didn't know you should google it and find out what happened in 2020 <laughs> so yeah I am um, basically planning to do that video now because I can't go out as much so through the video I can show to people um, those um, behind the scenes and trips and tricks and um, that way actually people would be feeling more connected to me I guess the, the things I do so yeah I'm planning to mostly do vlogging uh, tips and tricks behind the scenes and uh, mix and match I guess anything related to uh, photography I will be doing that um, hopefully I will carry on that's the one thing because I did give up halfway through back then I don't really want to do it again so uh, hopefully I will be carrying on and keep posting it I have many more questions actually I'll be answering them one by one even the one from Instagram I'll be doing that so hope you will be you know keeping up with me <laughs> um, it's first video so I'm gonna do as much as possible to get through those questions so I don't have to repeat myself in other videos I guess so yeah hopefully you'll bear with me for now <laughs> um, few more questions coming through so these questions I get asked uh, pretty much all the time um, the camera I have is Sony a7 III and the lens I use all the time it's um, 24 to 70 g2.8 f2.8 G master lens this lens I actually did never take off this is the only lens I have uh, back back when I started photography I used to have um, the Canon 600D and some some of the I think North America is called T3i that camera I used to have also I bought that time um, Canon 24 to 70 f2.8 because um, the 2.8 lens uh, I mean 24 to 70 2.8 lens is versatile for like all round the lens like it covers from uh, the wider to the close-up as well you can do many things portrait landscape everything to, uh, to be honest and for me it's like it's much more um, um, usable because I don't really like taking my lens off all the time so that I started with back then and I also used to have um, Tokina 12 to I think it was 11 to 20 sorry 11 to 20 Tokina 11 to 20 f2.8 wider lens that I used to have as well back in 2017 I used to use that a lot 
now I switch to Sony so the only lens I have and only, only camera I have right now is Sony a7 III and 24-70 f2.8 G Master lens those are the only two combination I have I use all the time if you go to my Instagram if you see it it's like 99% of the photos I've taken are with that lens now on I'm gonna start um, answering all the Instagram questions thank you for bearing with me so far and I'll be starting and the questions are coming up now I think I've already answered that um, earlier the reason I started doing photography is because I want to show people a different perspective things I see differently the way I see things and mostly to show how beautiful London is you can see a lot of things in London and not many people see them not many people actually see them properly so this is why I started photography to tell people encourage people to go out and see the places I've been to especially in London and so yeah, this is one of the reasons I started doing photography. This is actually very simple. I would be answering really quickly as well. <laughs> my favourite country is England and my favourite city is London without doubt. I love London more than anything, any other cities. If you ask me what, which, is, which city is my favourite after London, I would be saying Tokyo. I love Tokyo because I watch anime too, too much anime and I always see Tokyo on those animes so I started liking those as well and the city vibe. So my next country after England would be Japan and um, my favourite would be city would be Tokyo. Can't wait to go there soon. That's actually a good question. I like a lot of things in photograph actually, the colours and the textures and the way the angles are, like how the photographs were taken, but the mostly what I like is a good subject. If the subject is standing out on a photograph, like if you look at the photo and you can straight away you can tell, oh that's the subject I'm looking at, that's a good photo I think. And um, yeah, you don't, as long as you don't really have to ask that question in your mind, it's like, what am I looking at? That That's something it's, I don't like. Um, mostly in photograph I guess and yeah as long as your photograph tells you look at this this is a story I'm you know as soon as you look at the photo and you can tell the story by looking at it uh, you can understand what's going on in the photo I think that's something I like in photograph thank you for the question I think I answered it earlier the reason I started video is because I want to show that behind the scenes of what I do uh, when I'm posting photos on Instagram I can't really show like the things I go through the way I do things the traveling like from one place to another I go to I can't really show so that's why I thought it's the video is the best way I can actually show that behind the scenes also some of the things I know like I do um, photography you know I teach people like one-on-one -on -one photography lessons and whatnot so I could actually um, show people through the video that you can actually do those kind of things um, especially because like 2020 you can't really go out so that's another reason I started doing video now I can just stay at home do those tips and tricks and just post it on YouTube you can see easily so that actually one of the reasons why I started doing video thank you very much thank you very much I'm really happy that you actually like my photos honestly it means a lot like when I get messages like this I actually really appreciate it and that actually makes me um, like more inspired actually I would say that makes me go out and take more photos because of those you know the, the messages and because of you guys that you are actually you know seeing my photos commenting on my photos that's why actually pushes me every day to do something new and um, thank you thank you for that thank you for the, the you know the lovely lovely actually message there right and regarding regarding um spain i have not actually been to spain but i am planning to when the 2020 situation is over i am planning to start going to different countries hopefully soon someday soon i guess I'll be going to different countries and I'll be taking photos of different countries as well. So I can't wait. Thank you for the beautiful you know, question right there and really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Next few questions going to be related to mostly, I guess, um, Instagram because I asked on Instagram and people are on Instagram asking those questions about Instagram. So <laughs> I'll be answering those questions now. 
the way I started growing on Instagram is back in 2016 and right now is much harder to grow than it used to be back then so in 2016 I started posting photos of London um, Tower Bridge, Elizabeth Tower um, different variety of places I used to post photos of London so that actually helped me to grow uh, when it comes to Instagram uh, photos there's a lot of people who are interested in London they used to start they started following me back then there's a lot of people still follow me because they love photos of London and I do post photos of London a lot so that actually helped me grow and my work got recognized is by sharing there's a lot of people started sharing my photos um, some of the hubs like Time Out Magazine, A Secret London, Visit London and the big big um, brands that started you know, sharing my photos back then they still do nowadays and that actually helped me um, you know as a photographer grow um, on Instagram especially and nowadays it's all about the word of mouth there's a lot of people seeing my photos when you capture something different other than every other photo you know photographers taking a um, picture of London when you take something different people instantly recognize that that's something new and that's something different and how my tip would be for you if you want to grow on Instagram is any kind of photos you like if, if, even if it's a flower photo or landscape photos or I don't know people photo and um, portraits and whatnot try to do something different if you do it different because Instagram is packed full of people billions of people using uh, I don't know how many exactly are active right now but I'm sure uh, millions of people are every day using po you know Instagram and posting on Instagram so the best way you can be you know recognized right now is if you post something different like for example if you take photos of people try to include some kind of different texture or maybe some backgrounds that not many people people will actually see or go somewhere it looks like nothing you know, special but make it special so once you can do something different make it you know sh show it to people that look you can go to this place and capture something different and that's when people will be like oh okay why did I see that before that's when you know that you know your work's getting recognized so try something different that's why I would say if you're starting on photography like starting photography on Instagram do something different because there's hundreds of photographers out there and you have to stand out sure so one of the way you can earn money uh, when it comes to photography is by doing um, photo shoot that's one of the uh, thing you can do you can um, do like wedding photography you can do portrait photography you can do really real estate photography you can do food photography if you are good at so yeah there's different ways you can do it but you make sure you go to the right people so for example if you want to take food photography uh, if you want to take photos of um, food go to restaurant or go to cafes go offer them your service go say this is what I do if you have a portfolio that's actually good so you can show the portfolio to them saying these are the photos I've taken would you hire me or maybe like I can be your, your service or tell them that you, they need your service why they need your service so as long as you can actually prove that they need bet better photos than they already have they will definitely hire you if they have the budget um, and also you can sell photos on stock websites you can do prints you can sell prints you can um, do product photography you can do many lots of things actually um, so I would say only the limit is your thoughts your mind so if you are good at something say if you're good at taking photos of people you can start doing photos of models or you can do fashion fashion photography you can do family photography you can do um, say um, say for example wedding photography as well I'm getting back to the same thing because I started with wedding photography so you can do that too um, make sure you go to the right people though because if you don't you'll always get you know pushed back people always say oh I don't, I don't need you so as long as you go to the right people at the right time make sure you, you know what they actually need then they will hire you I am currently using Sony a7 III with 24 to 70 f2.8 G master lens this is something I always have always carry I don't have any other lenses is the only one lens I have and only one body camera camera body I have and I think he helps me covers me like 95% of the time I can do photo photos of different things different varieties without any you know problems so yeah that's that's the camera and the lens I have right now that's actually a good question um, if you're starting our Instagram right now I would say as a beginner post minimum two times a day um, but by really good stuff because if you're starting out if you want to get recognized 
make sure you post quality content remember one thing uh, people always say that and that's actually true this content is the king so as long as you have a good photos even if you post two times or three times if you post good photos you will get recognized and you will get those followers who likes your photos not just necessary ghost following like people just follow you for the sake of it but people will follow you because they like your photos so make sure at the beginning post minimum two times a day um, if you can would be great if you post early in the morning then even um, afternoon once and then evening another one three times if you do three times you'll get more exposure at the beginning uh, right now i only post uh, me personally i only post one time because you know for me editing and other works at the same time takes you know away my time um, daily time so i can't really do two or three times but when i started instagram i used to post two times a day i used to post early in the morning and in the evening because early in the morning when people are actually go into work that's when they actually flick through the Instagram and see their photos so you'll be more likely to be on their feed when you do early in the morning and evening time when people actually come back from work that's when actually people actually flick through the Instagram so that's an, another good time to post as well so make sure you post two times if possible and you will you will get recognized guarantee you'll get recognized and use the hashtags though use the good hashtags related to your photos and you will get recognized. Good luck. Related to photography is, if people can't tell what the subject is, that's, for me, is in a way, it's not knowing, it's actually what's going on, kind of, kind of situation. It's like, if you, if you can't tell what the subject is in a photo, me, I actually find a bit weird when I can't tell what the subject is, like what I'm actually looking at, that's, I wouldn't say that annoying because I don't go to that higher level. <laughs> I would say it's a bit weird. I find it a bit weird. Instagram, in a way, generally, I think I would say it's really good for photographers and videographers as well. Now that you have Insta Reels and IGTV, it's good. But only the, the drawbacks, I would say, you don't get as many exposures as you used to get in back in 2016, 2017 or maybe before that, like 2015-ish, or before that, you don't really get that much of exposure. Like if you post a photo, yeah, it's like only 1% of your followers would see it. That's, that's the drawback and you don't, maybe you will feel that you're not getting as much um, of a result as what you're doing. Like if you take a really good photos and if you don't get enough of the engagement, recognition, you would feel like, ah, oh, that's not a good photo, do you know what I mean? So when it comes to that, that's actually, I would say it's a drawback. and. I know there's a lot of photographers actually they post photos and if they don't get a certain amount of likes they actually delay the photo thinking oh this photo is not doing good and in a way this is actually bad I think or you know it's because people is it's getting people you know people off putting like people are not feeling much confident I would say um, that's one thing I would say about Instagram that I don't like especially and um, you don't get as much as um, your work is worth um, that's one thing I would say about Instagram. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your uh, wonderful words. To be honest, like when I get messages like this, this is like I said, man, you know, earlier as well, that like, he actually pushes me like to do something better. Um, I mainly do photos. Like, I still post photos on Instagram is because of you, because if you are keep you know you know engaging with my photos and you're telling me how much you like about it, what you like about it, and also you're commenting those kind of things that actually makes me feel better, makes me feel happy that actually you are finding a little bit of benefits or maybe happiness out of my photos, and that's what actually pushes me like to do something better next time. So thank you very very much for your wonderful words. Like I will be, I will be trying my best to make even better my uh, photos. I will try to make even better. The, the days coming in, maybe in like next year, I'm gonna continue posting photos, and hopefully you will still like the photos I post back after that. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, I don't think there is many, but one thing I would say for sure is the crop, Instagram crop, because you have to crop it, your picture 4 by 5 you can't really show the whole photo. That's one thing I would say about Instagram, is like a little bit of drawback, but you know, you can, you can get along with that, like, you know, if you capture a wide enough photo, then you can actually fit in everything. Um, other than that, I don't think there is many drawbacks. If it comes to like those bots and whatnot, then yeah, that's... What, 
bit annoying you know you get those <laughs> bitcoin and <laughs> those kind of uh, forest exchange and i don't know bloody <laughs> weird stuff going on they just message you saying oh yeah they've been rich over the night <laughs> that's one thing about instagram i find a bit of like a drawbacks um you just have to like put it on your comments like they use a comment filter that's what i did for myself um you just post those um keywords like bitcoins and <laughs> um the the um over the night um uh, reach over the night and those kind of things if you post i mean do the filtering on privacy i think in the comment section if you can go to privacy and then comments you can probably find those and if you post it there and leave it there and you would not get those um messages and i mean the the comments anymore uh so i think that's about it uploading into Instagram that's why I love Instagram actually Instagram is really a what actually helped me grow as a photographer I am currently on that right now <laughs> YouTube um, after Instagram I would say YouTube is best uh, for creators right now you can go on TikTok as well um, I've been posting for a while on TikTok but you know TikTok's got a bit of a like you know if you side like maybe some people like it some people don't so there is this and that but if you really want to go somewhere you can actually maybe go push as a creator and do creative stuff i think youtube is the next platform you should be on after instagram youtube is the best because you can do the video and show how to take photos and um, create new things and post it and from that video you can actually cut it in in different pieces and maybe like do a short videos and post it on Instagram as well, Instagram Reels. You can post it on Facebook as well if you have Facebook. Other than that, I don't think there is many other platforms you can actually go as a creator. For me, right now, that's my opinion actually, that I don't think there is any other platform you can actually go at the moment. Maybe if you watch this video in the future, about 10 years from now, maybe you already have something better. Um, I hope you do. I'll be, I'll be on it if I'm still alive in 10 years' time. <laughs> I'll be on it for sure. But for now, if you want to be somewhere, be on YouTube after Instagram. Thank you very much for this. Uh, everything is well. Um, 2020 has been kind of rough, kind of weird, um, kind of mixed bag um, so far. It's something nobody expected, 2020, and it's been very weird for me. I've been home for like four months. I haven't taken any photos. I lost many jobs because of um, lockdown. I would say 2020 has been weird, but also good at the same time because I, I got to spend time with my family. I stayed at home. I was with my family all the time, which I don't normally do. Um, there's always someone in my family is out and I don't see them as often. So that was actually a good thing that um, one thing good happened in 2020, I guess. And yeah, right now all is well. I am um, started doing photography as well. I'll be posting more videos soon. I've been going out in London. I've been taking different um, photos, like current current situation photos as well. And I'll be doing more photos soon in the coming days. I staying safe, of course. Like you have to wear a mask nowadays. Um, I'm I'm still wearing that as well because. I am thinking of my family first. I would rather keep my family safe, um, and then comes to myself. Because as long as my, you know, I I wear those masks, if that saves my family, then I'm happy with that. And so yeah, as, 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 as I think that's about it. I think that's about it. I would say, um, other than that, all is well. I'm happy that I am still able to take photos. I'm happy that I have this camera. I can do the video right now and post on YouTube. I am happy with with my family and everyone else around me, my friends and you know um, you guys that uh, you are watching this video. I hope you are. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll be posting more videos soon. And this is not going to be the only one video. I have plans to do many more videos coming days ahead. I'll be posting more photos on Instagram as well. I hope you'll be staying with me in the coming days, coming years ahead. And I can't wait to see myself growing over the years and see where I actually go. Thank you so much for watching this video. And with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Make sure you check out my uh, you know, Instagram as well because I do regular photos there now. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your watching. Thank you very much for your support. And make sure you keep yourself safe, stay well, keep your family safe as well. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.